our journey to seek the residence of the mother to a 14-year-old daughter. Jane, not her real name, took us to Makina Ward in Kibra constituency, Nairobi County. The day was 9th of this month when a 32-year-old man did the unthinkable to a 14-year-old. The act left the former Kibera primary student with not only physical but also emotional and psychological scars that she now says have affected her life. Hakugandwa kambi nyamazi amatani uwa. Mikamwa kunyamaz. Demu nyakanza kuntoa mangu na afaka ntumikia. After kuntumikia kafungwa mlanga atoka. Do do dangu mdoga kengia. Hakanuliza ni siku aliniza kumbono na liya siku taka kumambia. Do mama kengia nkanza kumwelezia. Immediately after the horrific incident, her mother reported it to the police, but most importantly, rushed the victim to the hospital. When I nilipata mtoto wangu amerepiwa, nilichukua ile hatua ya kumpeleka au si kuanza kumshughulikia afya yake. So nikakimbia Olympic, kufika Olympic, nilipewa msichana mwenye anaitwa Anne. Tukaenda naye mpaka Nairobi Women Hospital. Tukapeana mtoto kwa daktari, akaonekana kwa daktari. Toka huko tukarudi Olympic. Rudi Olympic, maskari Olympic wakachukua mshukiwa, wakamshika. The mother says that the suspect, who is the personal assistant to a local MCA, was arrested but released later that week. Kumshika, walimpeleka kilimani. It was on, it was on Monday, to amuke Tuesday. So that Tuesday ni kambiwa, niende mapema, niende kilimani. Kuenda kilimani, ni kapata mshukiwa kwa huko. Ni kajaribu kupeana obi enye nilikuwa ni mepewa Olympic na hizo pepa za osi. Hakuna mtu walezi chukua. So ni kakaa po inje. Kuenda Friday, nafika kilimani na pata mshukiwa meachiliwa. Hili ni uma sana. Hili ni uma sana. Nililia niliongea hapo. Kaona hakuna nje ingine, tulabda sina uwezo. Nikatoka, nikarudi kwa nyumba kwa tuto wangu. In a phone conversation with the MCA, the ward rep is hard trying to tell the mother to let go of the case. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. 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 I'm Eh eh. Na hizo jamani wewe na dissent. Okay, ni sawa. Eh. Kubando bando bibanga ndani ba kudero. Ah ah basiri tandi chao cha senyene. Our efforts to reach the MCA both on and offline bore no fruits. The personal assistant to the MCA who has never been seen since he was released from Kilimani police cells. The mother of two girls and one boy is anxiously waiting for her daughter's result, which the doctor said will be released after 30 days. The girl scored 234 marks in the recently concluded Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, and she says she won't let the incident hamper her aspiration in life. A survey conducted by the Center for Adolescent Health and Development and UNICEF revealed that 20% of the country's youth aged between 10 to 24 have been sexually abused. Various studies have reported the estimates prevalence of defilement and sexual abuse to range between 7 to 36% among females and 5 to 10% among males. According to UNICEF, between 1 to 2 billion children were exposed to violence worldwide during the year 2013 to 2014, and this violence took the form of physical, emotional or sexual violence. 
In Kenya, the reported prevalence of defilement among young female children was exponentially high at 55%. The victim and the mother are now appealing to the Department of Criminal Investigations and the Inspector General of Police to intervene and ensure she gets a justice. Even as investigations are ongoing, it remains to be seen if Preska and her daughter will get the justice they need. Abdiaziz Ashim Ibru TV, Nairobi County.